Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Joy Room car phone mount for your car that clips onto your vent and a ability to wirelessly charge your phone as it's mounted there for your easy access. In many states now and in many townships in different areas, they're not only banning texting and driving, but they're banning even holding your phone and driving. But you still want to be able to see your Google Maps and a whole lot more with this. And that's where a great car mount like this will hold your phone, keep you in compliance with the laws, but still make it ability for you to be able to watch, check your Google Maps or charge your phone as it goes. We're going to look at the pros and cons of this, show you it in action a whole lot more here in one second. First few disclaimers, this is a review unit. They did send it to us, but they don't get to see this review until it goes live. They're watching it on YouTube just like you are, so keep that in mind. All of our reviews are independent, even when we get a review product. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, you can find it on Amazon down below if you're looking for that. If you have a question that we didn't answer, leave me a comment, I'll do my best to answer them. And lastly, before we get into the full review, do me a favor, help us grow this channel, help me support my family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube can recommend our videos to more people, and which in return helps me support my family. So with that said, let's dive into it. Let's take a look at this car phone mount charger. Now, it is a powered one. You got buttons on the side here that will automatically open and close here. Now, there is no charge in this, but the good news is there is a tiny internal battery in this that doesn't hold a lot of power, but it's enough power that even if your car turns off and the USB-C power to this turn stops working, it's enough to open and close these a few times without needing to um, power it or your car back on to get power. Now in the back, they do have this little clamp here. And what this does is it goes over the vent, um, the either the vertical or horizontal vents in your car. And then you tighten it down and it clamps and locks onto that with this base here and holds your um, mount by the car vents with that. And then it can adjust here and you can lock it in place by tightening this knob here. Really nice, I'll show you it in action in a minute. Now on the bottom here, there is USB-C here where you can plug in a USB-C cable from your car to charge this device to enable the wireless charging through it. Really nice feature there with that to not only have it mounted but easily wirelessly charge without needing to find a cable laying on the ground you still could. Now let's take a look at everything that came with this. I can talk about a few of the catches, a few of the things you need to know about. Starting off with the fact that it is wireless and which is great, but it does mean it's slower than the max rapid charge. No wireless charging right now really in modern phones with iPhones, Pixels, etc., is as fast as using a USB or a lightning cable depending on your phone, uh, USB-C or lightning cable. Now, the good news though is it's a fit, um, standard wireless charging, same as if you had a standard wireless charging mount on your nightstand, desk, or wherever. So it's a nice ability there to be able to wirelessly charge your phone, have it mounted, and a whole lot more with it. It does have that Y at the bottom where you can have your phone mounted in this and still plug in another USB-C cable for a more rapid charge through USB-C. Overall, it's a pretty straightforward mount. It does what it says it's going to do and does it very well. I really do appreciate the fact that it's auto detect. So when I place my phone in here, when it's powered on, it automatically detects it and automatically closes the arms on it, locking it firmly in place. Now I live in Michigan where potholes are a big thing and in our testing with this, when we went over potholes or railroads or just rugged driving, this successfully held our phone in place, even though it was a Pixel 7 um, Pro with a large case on it had no problem successfully locking my phone in place and holding it there. So I was very pleased. Overall, I really do like it. It says what it's going to do, and it does it well. In our testing, nothing um, was broken, nothing didn't work like we said it would, and during normal use, wear and tear and testing, everything continued to work, and to this day, it's an excellent mount. So two thumbs up. If you're looking for a car mount with wireless charging, this is a great option. They do sell other Joy Room uh, mounts like this that are powered, which are cheaper. And you can find those in my channel description if you just search for Joy Room, all one word, Joy Room on that. You can find other models just like this. But if you want the wireless charging, this is an excellent one that does it great. So two thumbs up. I'll put a link to it in the first uh, pinned comment and the show notes down below. If I didn't answer any questions you may have, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're new here, 
hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me grow this channel, helping me support my family. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.